Hi all, Pankaj here. So in this video, we're gonna talk about troll hierarchy. It's gonna it's gonna be short and a crisp video. So let's start it. Before we begin, let's try to understand troll hierarchy with a simple example. We all like most of you are watching this video, like learn the concept and get the job. Now in your job, you will be working under a manager that you so like not not only you but lot of other people like you will be working under the same manager. So that's kind of a represent a hierarchy. So that is what a role hierarchy is. So now let's understand it in a more definite terms or ways. So user who needs to see a lot of data such as the CEO, executives or the other management offer often appear near the top of the hierarchy. Okay, each role in the hierarchy just represent the level of the data access that a user or a group user needs. Group of user needs. A manager always has the access to the same data as his or her employee, regardless of the org wide default setting. Okay, what does it mean? A manager will have a minimum access to those who are working under him. Okay, regardless of the org wide default setting. That is like the point is clear. Manager will have the access that you who is working under him will have, but he will also have the a more access as compared to you. So that is what this point means. So now let's move to the other point. User who needs who tends to need access. or to the same type of records can be grouped together with the same role basically suppose you are engineer working under manager there would be lots of other engineers like you who are working in the same, under the same manager manager and you all would need the same access so you all come under a same role called engineer that is what it means and with that example like the photo in front of you so you could understand what the role hierarchy looks so not much to understand here and you also know what is the use of role hierarchy salesforce based role hierarchy access is enabled all the superiors will have the access to the data their juniors have that is simple and clear okay so let's move ahead next is we will talk how do we create roles in salesforce so roles creating roles in salesforce is pretty much very simple so what you do is you go to the setup then to the quick find box and then enter roles there and then click set up roles and you just add the roles you want to create so i guess that's pretty much simple so let's move to our org and see how do we create a role in reality so we are here on our org so let's create some roles go to the setup once it gets loaded go to quick find and type roles there and then click it so go to the setup roles now here you could see these is basically the view how it looks okay show in review show in sorted view okay this is like that show in list view okay so it's like that but the most easy to understand is show in a tree view okay now the thing exaver technology is coming because it's my company and i added that in my trail head profile so that's why it's showing it might be different for you if you have added the your actual company name okay there so as you could see the only role here is ceo that is created so let's create a new role add a role and we say let's add a cf cfo okay we added that role name is that the role reports to this the basically is senior so here okay so so from here you could understand what does i mean whenever i say senior here in salesforce the role name are as displayed on the reports basically when we use that in reports so let's say it be let it be C cfo okay so these are the opportunity access and case access which you could select depending on your requirement so since we don't have any requirement let it be as it is and we just click save so it's error this role name already exist and has been previously used okay it's already existing let it be what would we do Let's say VP added added VP VP added VP VP okay because that would be same then add VP here just taking an example nothing more about the actual structure in organization okay to save it this was already existing so that's why it gave us the problem okay. and we could as also assign user to a role or a new user that is up to you so let's move back to the roles and see how it looks like in the hierarchy there set up roles 
CEO is there only. Why it called? I don't find expand all. Yeah, it's already there now. We, I wouldn't expand it there. Okay. CEO and VP we created this one. This the last one here is the one that we created. Okay. Suppose we want to create say another role under VP. We just click add role. Another marketing team. We just add role and the same process goes on. So that's simple. That's how simple is creating roles in Salesforce is. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.